Hello, this is coordinate geometry lesson two. In this, I will discuss section formulas and area of triangle. Now, section formula it means that we will first discuss internal division. There will be also external division, and these internal division and external division are called as section formulas. Now, let's suppose that there are two points A and B. The line segment formed by these two points will be AB. Let's say P is any point. that divides this line segment ab this p point divides this line segment ab in the ratio m is to n p divides ab in the ratio m is to n now we need to find the coordinates of this point p and that is the concept of internal division it means that this length is m and this length is n P divides AB in the ratio m is to n. Let's assume that the coordinates of A are x1, y1. Coordinates of B are x2, y2. Now, what will the coordinates of point P? Let's say, let's say they are x and y. X and y are the coordinates of point P. Now, what will the value of these coordinates? So, value of x coordinate would be mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n. You need to learn this. Uh, formula because derivation will take time and there will be no use in, in exam to first derive and then use this concept you straight away have to remember this x is equals to mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n the y coordinate would be equals to my2 plus ny1 divided by m plus n now for example let's say point a is 2 3 2 comma 3 and this point is 5 comma 7 we need to find the coordinates of point p which divides a b in the ratio let's say i am speaking let's say this is ratio 3 is to 2 3 is to 2 so what will be the answer the x coordinate would be m is 3 x2 is 5 3 into 5 plus n is 2 x1 is 2 divided by m plus n that is 5 y coordinate would be m y 2 that is 3 y 2 is 7 3 into 7 plus n is 2 y 1 is 3 divided by m plus n is 5 so the coordinate would be p points coordinate would be x comma y that is 3 5 is a 15 plus 4 19 by 5 3 7 is a 21 plus 6 27 by 5 these will that will be the coordinates of the point p that divides the line formed by points a that is 2 3 and 5 7 in the ratio 3 is to 2 that was 3 and this was 2 now what if the m is a midpoint very very important concept if p is the midpoint not m p is the midpoint this is let's say uh, a point this is b point this is x1 comma y1 this is x2 comma y2 this is now p is your midpoint Midpoint means that what will the ratio of m is to n? m is to n will be 1 is to 1 when p is the midpoint. Whenever p is the midpoint, obviously m, in, m is to n. The ratio, internal division concept will be 1 is to 1. And what will the formula? Because we know that x is equals to mx2 plus nx1 divided by m plus n y coordinates was m y 2 plus n y 1 divided by m plus n now if m is to n is 1 and 1 you have to put the ratio uh, m means 1 and mean also 1 so what will x will be x 1 plus x 2 by 2 and y will be y 1 plus y 2 by 2 very very important the midpoint whenever you need to find the midpoint coordinates it will always be equals to x coordinate will be x1 plus x2 by 2 y coordinate will be y1 plus y2 by 2 for example very important if i need to find the coordinates of center of a circle when i know the coordinates of diameter points a b is the diameter of a circle a b is the diameter can i find the coordinates of the center o yes because center is a midpoint this o is the midpoint of diameter because this is radius this is radius and I know how to find the coordinates of midpoint. 
सो मिड पॉइंट कोऑर्डिनेट्स आर x1 वन प्लस एक्स टू थ्री प्लस फाइव बाय टू एक्स वन प्लस एक्स टू बाय टू दैट इज थ्री प्लस फाइव बाय टू वाई वन प्लस वाई टू बाय टू दैट इज फोर प्लस एट बाय टू सो कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट ओ ओ पॉइंट्स कोऑर्डिनेट वुड बी थ्री प्लस फाइव एट बाय टू फोर एंड सिक्स दैट विल बी द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द सेंटर फोर एंड सिक्स विल बी द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ द सेंटर पॉइंट ओ नेक्स्ट इज कैन यू फाइंड द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ सेंट्रोइड यूजिंग द कंसेप्ट दैट वी जस्ट डिस्कस येस वी कैन डू नाउ आई हैव मेड ट्रायंगल ए बी सी द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट ए आर एक्स वन वाई वन बी आर एक्स टू वाई टू एंड सी इज एक्स थ्री वाई थ्री नाउ जी इज द सेंट्रोइड एंड इट्स कोऑर्डिनेट्स आर एक्स एंड वाई नाउ कैन आई फाइंड द कोऑर्डिनेट्स ऑफ जी यूजिंग द कंसेप्ट येस आई कैन बिकॉज यू कैन सी दट दिस दिस पॉइंट डी डी डिवाइड बी सी नाउ डी इज द मिड पॉइंट बिकॉज दिस इज अ मीडियन so d is the midpoint of bc so what will be the coordinates of d that will be x2 plus x3 by 2 y2 plus y3 by 2 that these are the coordinates of point you can say that d because d is the midpoint now g g is the centroid and centroid divide the median in the ratio 2 is to 1 now using the internal division concept we can easily find the coordinates of centroid because the g points divide ad in the ratio 2 is to 1 where this you can take m is to n coordinates of point a are x1 y1 and coordinates of point d you also know that so by using the internal division concept this is your homework you have to do this internal division concept you have to find the coordinates of point g and once you will apply the internal division concept and you will find the coordinates of point g that is x y the x coordinate would be x1 plus x2 plus x3 by 3 and y coordinates would be y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 these this this these will be the coordinates of point g that is the centroid so very simple to remember or you can derive in exam if you don't uh, remember this it's a very easy to derive first you have to take the midpoint then you have to uh, apply your a uh, section formula internal division so very important if x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 are the uh, vertices of a triangle then the coordinates of centroid would be x1 plus x2 plus x3 y3 and y coordinate would be y1 plus y2 plus y3 by 3 next is external division p points divide ab externally in the ratio m is to n what external division it means that now it can be in two ways ab is the common segment you can say that it is there as well as there ab now p points could be on the close to a or could be close to b close means nearest to point a or p points could be nearest to point b now when i say p points divides line ab external externally in the ratio m is to n it means that when i say this this length is m pa is m and pb would be n now there will never be confusion for you so it means that m is to n means pa length would be m and pb would be n in this case you can see that n will be greater than m n will be greater than m pb will larger distance more distance pa is a lesser distance now in this case p a would be how much this this is m distance and this is n distance so in this case m would be more than n so where the point will lie it depends on whether m is more or n is more and the coordinate will be the same for both the cases how to the formula will be same this is let's say point is x1 y1 this point is x2 y2 x1 y1 this is x2 y2 the coordinates of this are x and y and here also this are, these are x and y the coordinates of point p the formula says that x coordinate would be m y2 m x2 not y2 m x2 minus n x1 divided by m minus n 
एंड y कोऑर्डिनेट वुड बी m y टू माइनस एन वाई वन डिवाइडेड बाय एम माइनस एन दिस विल बी द कोऑर्डिनेट द ओनली डिफरेंस इन इंटरनल एक्सटर्नल डिवीजन कंफॉर्मला इज देर ओनली ए नेगेटिव साइन इन केस ऑफ पॉजिटिव न्यूमरेटर एज वेल एज डिनोमिनेटर सो वेरी सिंपल टू रिमेंबर वंस यू नो द इंटरनल डिवीजन फॉर्मुला यू कैन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द एक्सटर्नल डिवीजन फॉर्मुला ओनली डिफरेंस ऑफ नेगेटिव एंड पॉजिटिव साइन इन न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर देर इज नेगेटिव साइन इन द एक्सटर्नल वाई इन द केस ऑफ इंटरनल इट वॉज पॉजिटिव साइन नो इट्स वे द पॉइंट पी विल लाइज इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द वेदर एम इज मोर देन एन और एन इज मोर देन एम लेट्स दिस कैन एग्जाम्पल एग्जाम्पल दैट विल मेक दिस कंसेप्ट वेरी क्लियर टू यू लेट्स सपोज वी नीड टू फाइंड द कोर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट पी विच डिवाइड्स ए बी एक्सटर्नली इन द रेशो थ्री इज टू वन नाउ वेन आई से पी डिवाइड्स ए बी एक्सटर्नली इन द रेशो थ्री इज टू वन इट मीन्स दैट दिस लेंथ इज पी ए एंड दिस लेंथ इज पी बी दिस इज एम एंड दिस इज एन पी ए इज मोर एंड पी बी इज वन दैट इज मीनिंग ऑफ इट्स ऑलवेज पी ए इज टू पी बी सो नाउ बाय कॉमन सेंस लेट्स दीज आर द पॉइंट ए एंड बी टू थ्री फाइव सेवन Where will we P lie? It lie will it will lies here or here? Now you can see that P A distance is more, so this will be point P. P A distance is more. This is three, and this is P B is one. Three is to one ratio. So by common sense, the point P will lies here. Now you can easily find the coordinates of this point x y. I am assuming this. Now what was the formula? Formula was uh, x coordinate would be this is this is m. One is n. Your this is x one y one, and this is x two y two. The coordinates of point A will be x one y one, and coordinates of point B would be x two y two. By applying the formula, you can easily calculate your answer. This would be m that is three x two three into five minus n. This is one x one two. Divided by m minus n, that is three minus one. Y coordinate would be m y two. M is three. Y two is seven. Minus n y one. N is one. Y one is three. Divided by three minus one. So this would be three minus five. Fifteen minus two, that is thirteen by two. That would be the x coordinate. And y coordinate would be three seven. That twenty one minus three. Eighteen by two, that is Nine, so thirteen by two that is six point five and nine. That will be the coordinates of the points which divides externally AB in the ratio three to one. I hope you understand this concept. The last concept of this lesson is area of triangle with three points. This A vertices, this is B vertices, this is C vertices coordinates, and this is the formula that you have to remember. Uh, This is a very difficult formula to remember. If you can remember, it's okay. Otherwise, even that is not very important. This is not very important concept in aptitude because this core based on the formula. If you can remember this, okay. Otherwise, you can easily forget this. So this is how you can uh, put the calculate the area by putting x one, x two, and x three values, and you will find this is a mode. Mode means the whatever even if the negative value is comes, you have to take it positive and divide it by. half and that will be your final answer so that was all about a uh, geometry lesson 2 in this i will i have discussed section formulas and area of triangle thank you